Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I begin the video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on any of my new videos. Now, in today's video, I'll be counting down my top 10 best Lego Harry Potter minifigures across all of the years between 2001 up to now in 2020. Can you guess which figure will be in first place? Leave a comment down below with your guess. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer before I begin the video, in case you ever get confused throughout this video, this is a top 10 best Lego Harry Potter minifigures video, not my personal top 10 favorite Harry Potter characters. The list would be somewhat different if that were the case. I guess I would say similar in some ways. Now that the disclaimer is out of the way, let's get right on to the video. In 10th place, to kick off the video, we have none other than Draco Malfoy. I really love the older 2010 Slytherin torso that he has on, and I'm planning to use it for my sick fig in the coming future. The face print looks awesome for Draco, where he wears a smirk that does suit the minifig very, very well. I really love how LEGO created the Draco figure from 2010, and it is my favorite of them all. I'm a very nostalgic person if you couldn't tell, so that may play a tiny part as to why I prefer it over the newer and somewhat improved versions of the figure from the Half-Blood Prince. Moving on, in ninth place, we have Voldemort. <laughs> now this isn't the rare Voldemort or anything, he's not really hard to find by any means at all, but as a Harry Potter minifigure, he looks really, really cool in my opinion. And I'm talking about the Voldemort that was featured in the Rise of Voldemort set from 2019. I really love Voldemort's simple yet sleek black robes with a hint of dark green. And his facial expression looks really, really nice. It makes me happy. <laughs> I mean, look at the smile! I'm a fan of it, and I just had to include him on the list. It was either him or baby Voldemort. I mean, both work for me, so... There you go. <laughs> Next, in 8th place, we have Fenrir Greyback, my favorite werewolf. He looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> I'm a fan of Fenrir's torso print and I think it looks really, really cool. I think that Fenrir's face print is perfect, as it does an excellent job in capturing his werewolf-like features and the fur on his face. His blue eyes are really, really nice too and the hair suits him very, very well. Moving on, in 7th place, we have Remus Lupin from 2010. Okay, you got me. Most of the figures from this list are from 2010. You really can't blame me though. 2010, in my opinion, was the golden year for Harry Potter Lego to me. And too bad I didn't know that they existed back then, because if I did, oh, I would have had them all. As for the Lupin figure from 2010, I really like Lupin's unique torso and hairpiece, as well as the accurate face print he is currently wearing on his defense against the dark arts. I mean, like, professor uniform, which I think looks really, really cool. I mean, professors don't really have uniforms, so I guess his professor outfit. <laughs> Next up, in sixth place, we have Professor Snape. I think he looks really, really cool, and I'm specifically referring to the 2010 version of the figure. I love the flowy robe torso printing that he has, and the face print is very Snape-like, which is why I love it. And the hairpiece is spot on as well. His cape looks great. It's pretty average, but I mean, it really adds to the character of the figure, if you know what I'm saying. And Professor Snape is definitely deserving of a spot on this list. Next up in fifth place, we have Luna Lovegood from 2010. I appreciate accurate minifigures, which is one of the main reasons why I've included Luna on this list. I mean, just saying. I personally own this minifigure, and I gotta say, the torso is a great one. I really love the pink fluffy coat that she has on, and I think it looks great. I mean, I'm also a fan of the face print, including her specter specs, her glasses in other words, <laughs> and casual face. The leg print of her skirt is neat too, and overall, this Luna minifigure is a great one. Okay, now moving on in fourth place, I just had to include Fred and George Weasley in this video. I really love their torsos, the ones that they had in their shop, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. I think Lego did a fantastic job for them both. I mean, this is a top 10 video, but either way, I'm going to be considering Fred and George as a single 
I mean, minifigure, if you will. Eh, they're twins. I mean, they look like twins, and they are twins. I mean, they were twins. Rest in peace, Fred. Hmm. Sadness aside, the hairpiece for the Fred and George minifigure zzz, suits them both very well, and overall, I am really happy with the way that they both turned out. The facial expressions are unique for each of the figures, which is the defining feature for both Fred and George. I mean, other than the face print not being different, they would be absolutely identical in all ways. <laughs> Honestly, um, I wouldn't, like, change anything at all for the Fred and George minifigs. I think that LEGO did a fantastic job for them back in the day, and I'm hoping for a Fred and George remake based on the Order of the Phoenix, when they escape from Hogwarts under Umbridge's wrath on their broomsticks. That would be awesome. Next, in third place, we have Tom Marvolo Riddle in his epic and superb Slytherin uniform that I need for my sig fig. The hairpiece is absolutely perfect for Tom, and his face print is perfect as well. I love it. That's all. In case you were wondering, Tom is an exclusive minifigure that can only be obtained if you bought the new Harry Potter Magical Treasury Visual Dictionary, which makes it all the more exclusive and somewhat hard to find, I suppose. Moving on, in second place, we have none other than Saladar Slytherin. I am so, so, so happy that LEGO decided to make him, but I'm kind of sad that he just had to be an exclusive minifigure in a $500 LEGO set, being the Hogwarts Castle. Anyway, of the four Hogwarts founders, Salazar Slytherin is my top pick because not only does he look magnificent, but he's the founder of my house. The best Hogwarts house. So, it makes sense. The figure itself features a really cool headpiece and a white beard piece. I love his Slytherin robes printing and am a huge fan of it. The upper and lower capes look great too, and I just had to include him in this video, specifically in second place, as he is well deserving of this spot. Now, in first place, if you've watched one of my other Harry Potter videos, you know who's going to be featured here. Only the greatest character and minifigure of all time, Bellatrix Lestrange. If you know me at all, you knew that she would be in first place. I mean, I knew it anyway. <laughs> She looks absolutely incredible. Of all the Lego Harry Potter figures that exist, Bellatrix is my favorite and she is the best. I mean, the hair piece is epic. The face print is perfect. The torso and dress printing look insanely good. She is hands down the greatest Lego figure of all time, in my opinion. And I am specifically referring to the 2010 one from the Burrow set number 4840. No matter how hard LEGO tries to improve her in remakes for coming sets, the 2010 Bellatrix will always be superior in my opinion. I find no need in improving a perfect LEGO minifigure and am beyond satisfied with the Bellatrix the Strange minifigure from 2010. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. What are your thoughts on my list? Do you like it? Do you agree or disagree with me? How would your list look? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now!